If you're a seller, you're probably wondering, is now the time to sell my home? The housing market made incredible recovery in 2020 and is now positioned to be stronger in 2021. Record low mortgage interest rates is the driving factor that continues to build momentum. In this episode, we're going to evaluate the buyers and the sellers traffic across the country. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Raquanda Guy and I am an EXP realtor located in Loxahatchee, Florida, serving all of Palm Beach County through the Treasure Coast, including Miami-Dade County and Palm Beach. Today, we're going to dive into the housing supply and demand across the country. According to the latest Realtors Confidence Index survey from the National Association of Realtors, buyers demand across the country is strong. However, that is not the case on the supply side for sellers. The traffic is low and the sellers basically can't keep up with the supply and demand from the buyers. Let's take a look at this map that shows you what the traffic looked like for both the buyers and the sellers. Now let's look at the buyers traffic index on the West Coast. Many of the states show strong buyers in those areas. However, if we look at the seller's traffic index, we can see that some of the states are stable or weak. If we go over to the East Coast, we can see that Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, DC, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, all up in that area, the buying power is very strong. However, on the seller's traffic index, you will see that in some states, the seller's traffic is stable or is weak. If we look at the buyer's traffic index for Texas and Florida and Georgia and Alabama, you can see that those areas are also strong. But when we compare it to the seller's traffic index, you will see that those same states have less sellers. The National Association of Realtors just reported that the actual number of homes currently for sale stands at 1.28 million, down 22% from one year ago at 1.64 million. Additionally, inventory is at an all time low of 2.3 months. And in most cases, in a normal market, we will have at least a six month supply of homes. Now, what does all this mean, Rwanda, for the buyers and sellers? Buyers need to understand that they need to remain patient. They need to also understand that there's actually more buyers on the market than sellers. And they need to be ready to go when they find a home because most likely it's going to be a bidding war because there's so few homes on the market. Sellers may not want to wait until spring to put their house on the market, which so many buyers in the market and inventory being low, now is actually the perfect time to put your home on the market. The bottom line, the real estate market entered 2021 like a lion. And there is no indication that that lion is going to lose its roaring sound right now. If you are thinking about jumping into the market, reach out to a realtor, have that conversation Every situation and every family is absolutely different. 
If you're not working with a realtor, I would love the opportunity to sit down and have a conversation with you to see if now is a great time to put your home on the market or for you to buy a home. I enjoy educating both buyers and sellers so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. I'm going to also ask that you hit the like button if you thought this content was helpful. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget about the bell so that you can receive notifications each and every time I do videos just like this, pretty similar in content next time. Have a blessed day, you guys. Bye-bye.